What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and I am finally back. Going forward, the upload should be back to normal. And before I get into the highlights, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Now, as for some of the highlights in this video, we have a first look at the Ama Meniere Air Jordan 3 collaboration, as well as new release dates for several Air Jordans. Now, most of this video will be from Jordan brand. However, there is a small amount from Nike. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. The Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro All-Star was originally scheduled to debut on February 20th. However, that doesn't look like it's going to be the case, and sadly, the release date has been pushed back. And now the new rumored release date is for March 6th, that's in Europe, and then March 8th in North America. The retail price will be 180 We have another colorway of the Nike Air Total Max Up Tempo set to release. Well, I shouldn't say set to release because we don't have a release date, but this is the Midnight Navy pair, which last launched in 2009. So the pair comes dressed in a white and Midnight Navy colorway while utilizing white leather throughout. We also have the signature perforations on the toe and the Navy hits locations like the tongue, swoosh logo, and inside of the tongue. Like I mentioned, there isn't a release date yet, but they are expected to debut this spring and the retail price will be 170. We now have new images of the Nike Air Max 90 Bacon. Now these photos come from GOAT, so they're more like product images. And other than the new photos, there really isn't much new information. They are still expected to debut sometime this March and they will celebrate Air Max Day and the retail price will be 140. This pair along with another one I'm about to showcase are probably the top two releases. However, I'm sure that Nike has more in store for the month. Official images of the Clot Nike Air Max 1 Kiss of Death recently leaked. And this is a pair that originally released in 2006 and is part of Nike's clear toe era. So as you can see, it features a translucent toe box, which is probably one of the more unique features that this shoe has. But another feature that I like is the outsole, which is translucent. And of course, they come constructed with various materials. Now, again, there isn't a specific release date for this pair nor do we know of a retail price. However, they are expected to debut in March. Last up from Nike, we have a first look at the Nike LeBron 7 Dodgers. Now, although it's not confirmed that this pair is dubbed Dodgers, I mean, the colorway is very similar, but back in September, LeBron was wearing the shoes and at that time they were dubbed Dodgers, but now they are expected to release. And as far as the release info goes, they are rumored to debut on February 23rd, part of the LeBron watch series. So what that means is that they will drop randomly on the sneakers app, for the prior release, which was the LeBron 8 Graffiti, although they were rumored to release around the time of tip-off, they actually dropped in the morning. So again, that is somewhat expected for this pair, and the retail price will be 200 To Jordan brand, and we now have official images of the Air Jordan 12 Ice Cream. Now this is a kid's exclusive, and the nickname comes from the texture that's used across the upper, and the pair comes dressed in a white Arctic Punch in Hyper Pink colorway. Now, for the release date, this pair is scheduled to debut on March 1st. The retail price will be 140 for grade school, 90 for preschool, and 60 for toddler sizing. Coming soon, Alele May will have another collaboration with Jordan brand, and this time it'll be on the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort. Now the pair comes dressed in mostly green and royal blue and utilizes different materials like leather, nylon, and satin. It also features a cutout swoosh on the panels that showcases green. On the tongue, we have a circular A and her signature lands on the heel. Lastly, we have beige on the midsole, while green and yellow run across the outsole. At the time of shooting this video, we don't have a scheduled release date for the pair, nor do we know of a retail price, but like always, more information coming soon. While I took a brief hiatus from shooting videos, images leaked of the Air Jordan 12 Low Easter. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the shoe. However, I've seen 
about a 50-50 split, and to go over the pair, they feature white leather on the upper that also lands on the mudguard with the traditional textured finish. Iridescent lands on the top eyelets, as well as the branding on the side, and then we have a Jumpman on the tongue in white, which also hits the laces. Black also hits some of the branding on the hill, and then finishing the look is a translucent outsole, which has the Jumpman done in aqua. Currently, this pair is scheduled to release on April 3rd, and the retail price will be 200 Let me know your thoughts on this pair in the comment section below. For me, I am definitely passing. We have a possible release date for the Air Jordan 1 High OG Fresh Mint. Now, the release date is approaching, so it's possible that this date could be pushed back, which shouldn't come as any surprise because most Jordans, as well as Nikes, the release date has been pushed back quite a bit. So, as of now, this pair is scheduled to debut on March 13th, and the retail price will be 170 This pair has grown on me quite a bit, but like always, let me know your thoughts down below. What was once supposed to release for March Madness, the Air Jordan for University Blue will no longer release in March. The release date for this pair has moved around quite a bit, but now the new release date is April 28th. I know there's a lot of people that are waiting for this drop, so definitely unfortunate news. However, this isn't quite new information. I'm sure if you guys visit sneakerfiles.com or any Instagram pages or even other websites, you would have seen this update. But if you missed out, the new date is April 28th and the retail price will be 225 have a new updated Photoshop for the Air Jordan 6 Gold Hoops. Now, according to Z Sneakerhead Z and his sources, this is how the pair will look. Now, there might be a few changes here and there, but for the most part, this is something that you can expect. Now, comparing to the previous mock-up, the metallic gold has been removed from the midsole. We also have some speckled detailing on the outsole that comes up to the midsole, and the pink on the panels that has been removed, and now it's a cream type hue. Also, they are expected to feature a hoop hang tag, possibly something similar to what's shown. And like the name suggests, the inspiration is from gold hoop earrings. And now for the release info, this pair will be available in women's sizing on July 1st, unless a release date gets pushed back. The retail price will be 190. Months and months back, I leaked that the Air Jordan 11 Low Bright Citrus or just Citrus would be returning in 2021. At that time, we didn't have images of the shoe, but recently official images leaked, which also gives us our first look. Now, everything looks on point compared to the original release, which took place back in 2001. Also, the pair last dropped in 2015. However, it was a girls exclusive and only went up to a 9.5Y. Now the difference here for 2021, the model will be available in women's sizing. I remember back in the early 2000s and then later on, this is one of those shoes that were sought after by OG collectors. And to me, this is a good thing that they're coming back. It will give some people the chance to purchase with a larger size foot. And currently the release date is May 6th and the retail price will be 185 a small release date change for the Air Jordan 13 Red Flint. Now this isn't as big as the Air Jordan 4 University Blue, but the Red Flint Air Jordan 13 was originally expected to debut on May 1st, and now the new release date is May 8th. The retail price will be 190 I know a ton of people have asked me during fall 2020 what happened to the Air Jordan 10 Dark Mocha. Now we only had a Photoshop at that time, but I believe they were expected to debut on September 26th, however that date passed and nothing dropped. Nor did we even see a first look until about a week ago. So very interesting because these images that leaked of the shoe are actually from Jordan brand. These are the type of photos that you would usually see part of their collection unveiling. Also the colorway has been slightly changed. Originally Prism Violet wasn't part of the shoe, at least not from the info that leaked but it's present here, of course. So to me, what we have is a mixture of the Air Jordan 10 Shadow and the Air Jordan 10 Sacramento Kings. Now, the only thing throwing it off is the infrared, which lands on the Jumpman on the hill. I really hope that Jordan Brand eventually releases them because unfortunately at the time of shooting, there isn't any details if or when they're going to drop. 
However, like always, once more information is available, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Also, let me know your thoughts on this pair in the comment section below. Do you think Jordan Brand should just go ahead and release them? Official images of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Shadow 2.0 leaked. However, it shows us the kids sizing. So obviously that's good news for those that wear grade school sizing. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to showcase the official images, but to keep you guys on the up and up if you don't know or maybe you forgot, this pair will debut on May 15th and the retail price will be 170. Official images also recently leaked of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Court Purple. This also gives us our first look and they are close to the original metallic purple. However, there is differences, of course. And to go over the shoes, they feature white leather across the upper, and then we have purple satin on the liner. Next, we have purple patent leather on the swoosh, ankle, and then purple on the wings logo. Other details includes a white midsole and a purple rubber outsole. Other than that, the shape is slightly different and that's just due to it being a women's release. And they will drop in women's preschool and toddler sizing, which will take place on June 3rd. It's very possible that the date could be pushed back and the retail price will be 170. Now, I really hope that this pair drops in extended women's sizing. Hopefully we get more information on that soon. To be honest with you guys, I was reluctant to share this just because it's only a preview. Now, this preview has been floating around for some time now and I would have thought that we would see a first full look, but nope, that is not the case and this is just a preview of the Air Jordan 1 High OG pollen. Now I'm also going to include a Photoshop which represents what the release will look like just so you have an idea because obviously this preview doesn't show much but one thing is for sure that when they do release this pair is going to do very very well there's a ton of hype just based off the mock-up and the good news is that they will release in full family sizing typically when jordan brand does release a shoe in full family sizing it's more on the gr side now that doesn't guarantee you a pair by any means but it might be slightly easier to obtain now at the time of shooting this video the release date is august 21st very possible that the release date could be pushed back and the retail price will be 170. Last up for today, we have a first look at the Ama Minier Air Jordan 3 collaboration. Now to go over the pair, they feature a white, medium gray and violet or colorway. And I think that the overall look that they were going for is vintage. As you can see on the top eyelets, as well as part of the midsole, it's yellowed, giving it an aged look. We also have gray suede, which wraps the toe and heel and lands on the eye stay. And then we have a quilted liner and a little bit of violet, which wraps part of the midsole. Lastly, we have co-branding on the tongues. So Ama Meniere was the one to unveil the shoes. However, they didn't give a ton of information. What we do know now is that they will drop this spring. They'll be available at Ama Meniere's website, as well as their Atlanta, Houston, and Washington DC locations. The retail price for adult sizing is 200 and kids will cost 90. Also, this is a women's release. I'm unsure if they'll be available in extended women's sizing, but more information should be available very, very soon. So expect another update. And like always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfollows.com and then we take it to YouTube. Like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Also, for the next upload, it should be the Air Jordan 1 High OG University Blue. The review that is, I'm not really big on calling it a review, but expect that to come either tomorrow or the next day. My apologies for the no uploads. I was on a really great streak and then I wanted to set up my office area to be able to take videos of these shoes. Unfortunately, it's been a lot harder than I expected, but I'm pretty sure that I have everything ironed out. So moving forward, we should be good to go. Now, if you haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.